Hey, Scott, the tech guy here at NAB 2012. We're in the Phantom booth with Feroz. Talking about a new high-speed slow-mo camera. This thing is brand new. The technology is from tomorrow, and Feroz is going to explain it to you a little bit for us. Hey, Dan Scott. This is brand new. This is the Phantom Miro M320S. It's basically taken many of the features of our high-end Phantom Flex that people already know and love and put it in a smaller, lightweight package that's easy to use and actually very, very good value for money. So some of the best features, you can use PL lens mount, so you have full 35mm style lenses, same depth of field you're used to, 1920 by 1080 pixels up to 1500 frames per second, same highlight sensitivity as the Phantom Flex, and we've introduced with it a Cine Flash, which is basically a smaller version of the Cine Mag, and this device allows you to record from the camera onto this and then download later. Nice. Now let's say I wanted to go up from 1500 frames a second. What, what happens? So the next step, you can go to, let's say, 720, which is another popular resolution, 1280 by 720, also still considered HD, and at that resolution you can shoot up to 3000 frames per second. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. That's cool. Right. The camera is really small. It weighs only about 3 pounds or 1.4 kilos roughly. It's easy to use. You can control it either from a laptop or from our remote control unit device. Um, it has HD-SDI directly out on it, so people can record the HD-SDI signal if that's interesting to them. But it also saves the same high-quality raw data that you're used to in other Phantom cameras. I see. So, who's uh, the primary, who's this, who's this camera targeted towards? Basically anyone who wants a flex but can't afford one, or people who want a really small camera that will fit in places that the Phantom Flex just can't go. So it's great for 3D rig, it's great for putting in a POV, a POV kind of environment where you want to put it on a car or in a car, things like that. And, and what does it cost? A shooting kit is about $50,000, that'll get you started. So less than half the price of the Phantom Flex. And that, that's with lenses or what? what we have a basic package, the camera with 12 gigabytes of RAM, a, two, a 60 gigabyte Cine flash, a battery, a battery charger, and a download station. That's what we're talking about at under $50,000. And then if you wanted to add lenses and remote controls and so on, you could add different prices. Now, these are PL mount lenses, we don't make them. So choose your favorite lenses, and you can get lenses that are affordable from Zeiss, like the compact primes. You could go up to Kooks, which are high-end. So there's a big range of lenses out there. Great, and when is this coming out and where do, you, where do you get it? The camera was announced this week and it should sh should start shipping by about the end of May. Uh, you can order it from your local Phantom distributor. Okay, so Feroz, this thing's really cool, but uh, now's the big moment. Can we see it work? Yeah, look, we've talked a lot of numbers, but I think some of the most effective ways to understand how a camera works is actually to shoot something. So why don't you go sit in front of the camera for me? me and Yeah, you. And I'll set up a shot and we'll, we'll have some fun. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, do I get to keep my pants on? You can keep your pants on, please. Uh, I'm in. And so I'm going to set this up now. We're going to shoot you at 1,000 frames per second. We can go faster, but for what we're about to do, I think 1,000 is about the right number. Now, Scott, what I'm going to do is I'll count you down three, two, one. And on one, if you can go like this, while making big, crazy eyes and staring straight into the camera, that'll be great. Are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's brilliant. Come have a look. So now we've recorded this at 1,000 frames per second, and we're playing it back at 30 frames per second. Right up there, you can see the playback. It's ready to go. <laughs> now, I'll bet you haven't seen yourself like that before, Scott. No, my goodness, that's mildly disturbing. I'm, I'm sure by the end of it, it'll be uh, greatly disturbing if we've done our jobs right. <laughs> so the other thing that's really interesting when you shoot high speed, two seconds of recording in real life becomes several minutes of playback. People don't often realize that a one second clip when you shoot at a thousand frames per second and then play that back at a cinema standard 24 frames per second, that's 40 seconds of playback. Great camera work, great thanks, stuff. Scott. Thanks right. for stuff. Thanks, by. I think.